Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? So I'm here to read a piece written by Edward Robinson. He can't be here tonight. He lives in Vista Jail. And he wrote this piece while in Vista Jail. Um, and this piece will give you a, a sense of why he is there for now. He's presently participating in a program called the Veterans Moving Forward Program and is really having a great deal of success in that program. And I expect him to be out of Vista Jail sometime very soon and able to be able to read his pieces himself. I guess I should say I am one a host of volunteers who go into Vista Jail to work with the gentleman there. And this is a piece that he wrote with a little bit of help from me. It's titled Wake Up. After I was honorably discharged from the Army in 1974, I was disillusioned, angry, and depressed to the point of psychosis. When I went home, people asked, what's wrong with you? I simply replied, you wouldn't understand. In point of fact, I didn't understand myself. And as hard as I tried, I couldn't determine why I acted or felt the way I did. I never saw combat during my time in the service, so that wasn't it. <coughs> why then did I feel such hostility so often? Whatever the reason, I didn't function very well in society anymore. I couldn't keep a job or a relationship, never mind get married. Most of all, I hated being around people. I felt different, somehow wrong, whenever I was with anyone. I found that I could temper these feelings with a mixture of drugs and alcohol. Just the right amounts, and I functioned OK. The challenge was getting the amounts right every time. Too much, and I acted stupid. Too little, and I became violent. Problems with social constraints and financial responsibilities snowballed until I became one of the great unwashed, a member of the invisible nation, the homeless. My days typically began as follows. As my eyes slowly open, it appears I'm on the bridge of a starship with two alien life forms, a blue one on my right and a greenish one on my left. There's a viewport showing that we have landed on the grassy hill hillside of some strange planet. Just as I begin to panic, the aliens dissolve into the piles of clothing and junk they actually are. The bridge of the starship into the, stu into the inside of a stuffy tent purchased from Big Five and the viewport into the opening of the tent doorway overlooking the brown grass and desiccated ice plant on the traffic island I have encamped upon. Damn, it's bright outside. I can't go out in that. What if someone sees me out there? Never mind that I'm in a blue tent on a brown hillside with rush hour traffic going by at a snail's pace. I'm so tired of living like this, so damn tired. I wish I could get up the nerve to kill myself. I tried it once, but didn't even get that right. For now, I can't even go outside this damn tent until I get my head right, until I can see straight, until I can stop vibrating inside. I begin to look for something to drink and a cigarette to get started. This has been my wake up routine for a while now. Hallucinations followed by remorse and thoughts of suicide, then a craving, then craving a drink, a smoke, and a shot of shards, which is a slang term for crystal methamphetamine. I need all this just to face the world, just to face what I've done to myself once again and live with it. It is time for that ritual. Every addict I know has some ritual involving his or her drug of choice. From the morning cup of coffee to the first drink of the day, the ritual involves a substance and an instrument for getting it into the body. I gather up the leftover drugs and remaining booze along with the tools that condemn me to this self-made hell. There's a kind of solemn rite to it all. And while I'm preparing all my poisons, a calm comes over me not unlike that of a person having the first cigarette of the day. Addicts all follow a routine of some sort 
that allows them to feel better about what they are doing to themselves. While my particular ritual is not unique, I consider myself a purist. No turkey, ba turkey basting, which is a slang term for delivering a drug solution via the anus, or snorting for me, just straight to the neck. I fill a water goblet. I pilfer from a sidewalk cafe with brandy and soda. I usually have four or five bottles of booze in the tent at any one time because I pay hell when I run out. Then, after lighting a cigarette, I take a gram of crystal methamphetamine and make two piles, one for the spoon and one for the pipe. After the mound on the spoon is mixed with water, I draw it up into the syringe. I fill the pipe with the second pile and line up the booze, syringe, and pipe in a neat row. At last, all is ready. First, I take a big gulp of brandy and soda to calm my nerves so I can hit a vein. Then I inject the crystal, after which my ears start ringing. Picking up the pipe, I take deep pulls and blow out big clouds of smoke. Ah, better living through chemistry. I feel normal again. I can leave the tent now that I've had my wake up. Give it up for Randy Davis reading for Mr. Edward Robinson.